G'day guys. So today we're going to talk the AMX5120 and uh, this is the French uh, line and um, look, uh, I've had a lot of fun in this tank but it took me a while to get my head around it. So what I hope to do in this video is um, just pass on what I've learnt about the tank and um, at the same time give you some tips and that on how I drive it. And at the moment we're running at about 60% win rate in this thing, which is decent. It's, um, you know, not one of those tanks that uh, some people get right or wrong, but you can just see this this 120 millimeter gun, uh, which is the top gun, and it, it's being auto loaded as well. It just can deliver some massive amounts of damage. And uh, that's one thing that I've really loved about this tank. You can get in there, do a lot of damage, and being a heavy tank as well allows you to take some damage too. Biggest draw uh, drawback with it is the 20 second reload. And that's a long time in a game. If you're you, you can't really get in a situation where you're brawling. So what you've got to do, and what I find is you've got to pick your targets. And you see, I don't necessarily rush up and unload my whole clip, not unless I absolutely have to, or I know it's gonna finish the tank off. The other thing you can do is you can unload your clip, get their hit point uh, trade right down to low, and then, being a heavy tank, ram them. So for that, I actually run um, uh, acceleration in, in terms of my consumables. Um, obviously, you can't run gun rammer because, uh, oh sorry, adrenaline, um, because it's auto loader. Um, and you can't run gun rammer in equipment too. So I run vents in the equipment. This is not fully decked out this tank yet either in terms of equipment because of course you can't get spare parts and that's another absolute drama in the game right now. Um, you know, it just takes so long to upgrade equipment now in tanks. It's just um, half the time you're playing them, you know, without that. So you can see I'm, I'm picking my targets very wisely and uh, that does cause you, you know, if your teammates are falling off the perch, it does make it hard. So you can see I've gone in, pumped my, the rest of my clip into this IS-8. Uh, unfortunately, their other team members also lay into me because I'm exposed here, but I was forced to do that to try and avoid his gun. So, you know, our team's falling by the wayside here. And you look how long it takes to reload this thing, um, which means I couldn't back up uh, that IS-3 as much as I want to. And you see a switch to AP uh, CR here. Um, only because I wanted to finish this guy off and uh, I've still got one left in the clip and lo and behold the PDA rushes up and boom he's gone too. Uh, we didn't win that match. You can see it was one of those matches that was teetering and that's what I'm talking about. If you get in that situation where your teammates are all gone and there's you versus a few other tanks, you're in a lot of trouble. So the best thing this tank I've found, and this is a good game to sort of show it, I actually don't kill any tanks in this game. But what we do is we support the team. So this tank for me has become what I call a real support tank. Uh, it means you're never going to really be the ultimate hero. I mean, you will on occasions, um, but you're not going to be one of those tanks that sits there and sort of brawls back and forth. What I'm doing, and you'll see, I'm, I'm trying not to expose myself, but at the same time, I'm ensuring that if I can get a shot off, I've got cover. And um, in, in this situation here, the gun's got enough firepower. Look at that. Just does three, 400 damage, um, you know, at, at range. And uh, I don't even have calibrated shells. Um, I'm running vents, remember. So, you know, it, the vents just give it that much more, um, you know, wiggle room in terms of, you know, what it can do. And you have a look here. See, see this is what I'm talking about. I shouldn't have taken this shot on the IS-7. I thought I might have got him, but, you know, the gun isn't that accurate all the way through. Uh, but, you know, the other thing you can do, and what I do a lot in this, and you're going to see it in a sec with a FV215B183 um, that comes up on us here, uh, I track tanks a lot. Because your first shot, what you want to do is you want to get the tank in a position where you can unload the other two shots. So one massive, um, you watch this, I'm going to track this this FV in a sec. See, I pulled out of there. There's no point me trying to hit trade with one of those guys. Um, you watch, track him, and that actually helped the other teammate then 
um, put another one in. I put one in, teammate finished him off. And you see how it's a support tank. But I'm always looking to track with the first shot if I can. Um, that was a bounce. I don't know what went on with the gun there. That should have been a kill, but um, it wasn't. But always the first shot. Try and get a track of the tank, and then it gives you the opportunity to unload the other two in your clip. And, you know, you can do a massive amount of damage with this 120mm gun. And you look at this IS-7 here. He's not got his eye on me at all. And look at the speed I can get there in a heavy tank. I mean... This thing just rockets along. I'm telling you now, once this tank is fully upgraded with equipment, which is going to take me a while given the spare part situation, I'm not going to get rid of this tank out of my garage. It's going to stay because now I've got my head around it. It makes life a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun in this tank and uh, as a supporting role. And you'll see in this game here, and um, it's one of those ones where you can, you can push out on one flank and then turn turn around and just go the opposite direction if you have to, because the thing gets around like a reasonably mobile, you know, medium. Let alone, I mean, it's not up there with like some of the fast fast mediums, but it, it actually moves quite well. Uh, that's that is once the engine and the tracks have been upgraded. So just remember that uh, before that it's not. And so we've just noticed here there's nothing coming up to the top of the city. Uh, where the temple is. So I've got to support the meds down the bottom there. Uh, also, communication in the game is really good. Make sure you, you're trying to give the team as best advice you can because that ultimately helps you. In this tank here, the last thing you want to do is see all your teammates die and you're left with full hit points and you can't go in there and uh, and, 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 and and do any damage because you're just going to get surrounded and swamped and, and destroyed. But you'll see a really good example in here of, of how... We, we snuck up, we had a look around to see what was going on, we pulled back, we didn't get spotted, we've got no spotting going on here, but I know for certain they're going to pop up in that canal right there, in the, or that channel right in the middle there, because that's where uh, they're, they're all based down there, and they, they generally go past that point. And uh, I think at the moment the tortoise pops up here in a sec, and um, you'll see the first thing I go for is a track, tracked him, and I'm waiting for the reload. That's the only thing that gets you in this is the reload between the auto loader, and I missed that shot sadly because I was under the pump there. Uh, wasn't from aiming, but um, I put one in the top of that. Now what I'm realizing here is I'm in a really vulnerable spot, and I can see I'm pushing up on the left here. So what I'm going to do is what's what Bushka talks about all the time is flexing. I'm going to flex out here right to the back, and um, you know. That's something I used to do a lot. Uh, didn't know what the name of it was, but uh, I didn't even know it had a name, but apparently it does, so that's what it's called. And we're looking for targets down here now. Now you can see I've got a full clip load. I've got three shells, and I don't want to get into a brawling situation. You know, no tanks are dead. We've still got full comp on each side. And you can see I've got this JPZ on my left here, and he's a competent player. So I want to support him. And I want to get into a, a position where if they t draw the focus to me, I'm actually going to be able to put damage in and my teammates are going to be able to do the same. And look at this AMX here. He hasn't even seen me. He's focusing on everyone else. Track, first shot. Okay, he fixed that. But it allowed us enough time to put another shot in and then our teammate got one in and I've still got one up the spout. And this AMX who got one into me for, uh, earlier, I can now put one into him and track him. Bang, I tracked again. So always go for the tracks because that allows you to get more time to get your ammo reloaded. It also gives your teammates uh, a bit of a, a chance too because whenever you're tracking someone, what it does, it actually gives your teammates more time and it unsettles that player. That player is in thinking, oh, I've got to reset my tracks, I've got to fix my tracks. And ultimately, we've got the revenge on that uh, on that opponent that was the same as us. Uh, sorry, the tier up from us. He's a tier ten, and um, I think I think the tier ten is going to be played exactly the same way. Now, this is a tier ten match, and um, we've been able to hold our own. This T sixty two here, we 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 could have put one into him there, but I might have missed. Now, I don't want to go head to head with the T sixty two, and not have. Uh, any rounds up the, up the spout. I want to have some in the clip. And uh, he's taken out by the teammates. We only did one kill. 
but we did a lot of support. And you'll see uh, at the end here what the results are. Uh, we're number three. We did 1,900, nearly 2,000 damage. If you do nearly two to 3,000 damage in this each game, you're going to have a great game. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you'll see just here, I think we only missed one shot out of seven shots fired. So it's a great tank. Get into it. Um, just be mindful of that 20-second reload and always look for cover, and you can support your, your teammates and have a lot of fun in this tank. So enjoy. See you out there, guys, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.